Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. I'm sure most of you probably know by now that appeal is denied. Brittany Griner is set to begin a nine year sentence in Russia penal colony after her effort to reduce the penalty for her February drug abuse was rejected by the Moscow court. Oh my God. A lot of people were expecting this. I didn't I didn't want to give Luke hope until I actually heard the verdict. She's been sent to a penal colony, y'all. I don't think y'all understand. You know, all you gotta go do is look at Siberia and these places, these colonies, and these work camps. For her bait. Oh my god. Oh man. Uh, they still They still remain hope that Griner could return to the United States as part of a prisoner swap with Russia. Oh, man. Insane. Insane. An eight-time All-Star center with the WNBA's Phoenix Mercury. Oh, I know you. Ah, my prayers are with you, Brittany. And a two-time Olympic gold medalist was convicted on August 4th after police said they found bait canisters containing cannabis oil in her luggage. She took part in the session held at the Moscow Regional Court via video call from the penal colony outside Moscow, where she is being held. The Moscow court had three options with Griner's appeal to leave the verdict as it is to reduce the sentence or overrule it and send it back to the lower court. Although somewhat expected, the ruling means that Griner's best chance of escape at escaping prison remains a prisoner swap with the United States. But such a deal was obviously impacted by ongoing tensions between the two countries since Russia invasion of Ukraine begin earlier this year. One of my earlier videos, I was saying, how can she escape? This is not like Midnight Express. Tall, black, seven-foot woman. I mean, You don't easily um, hide like that. This is sad. This is sad. Oh, my God. I am really, really disheartened by this, even though yeah, I did anticipate them sending her to a work release program. It's just, you know, hard to know that as a possibility you would never see her again. Um, you know, that right there is just too, it's too much. It's just too much. Oh, Brittany. Sorry for you, Brittany. I really am. Sorry for your wife. I'm sorry for your family, your mom, your father, your siblings, all of y'all. It's, uh, damn, y'all, that's just crazy. Griner's arrest came at the time of heightened tensions between Moscow and Washington, just days before Russia sent the troops into Ukraine. At the time, Griner was returning to Russia where she played during the U.S. Offseason. Griner admitted that the canisters in her luggage would testify that she inadvertently packed them in haste 
and that she had no criminal intent. Her defense team presented written statements that she had been prescribed cannabis to treat pain. The nine-year sentence was close to a max, the closest to the maximum ten years she could have possibly got. They said in similar cases, defendants have received an average sentence of about five years. Okay. So you trying to tell me this is not political? She sentenced to the maximum. Might as well. They could have gave her ten years, but they gave her nine. Oh, la di da. I mean, she's in the middle of this. I mean, this could be my my daughter, and that's why I guess it's just hitting home so much. My daughter plays basketball, played in college, played in high school, and my thing about it is, um, ooh, had she took the route of uh, playing professional in women's basketball, then that would have been an option for her in terms of, you know, most women players go out of the country, namely to Russia, Lithuania, you know, to play on those teams to compensate or to, you know, enhance their earnings um, because they don't get paid a lot from the WNBA. Oh, my God. So before her conviction, the U.S. State Department declared Griner to be wrongfully detained. And that's a charge that the Russians sharply rejected. Reflecting the growing pressure on the Biden administration to do more to bring Britain home, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken took the unusual step of re Revealing publicly in July that Washington had made a substantial proposal to get Griner home. Along with Paul Whelan, an American serving a 16-year sentence in Russia for espionage. Um, Lilkin didn't elaborate. But the Associated Press and other news organizations have reported that the Washington has that Washington has offered to exchange Griner and Whelan for Victor Bout, a Russian arms dealer who has served 25 years sitting in the U.S. and once earned the nickname the Merchant of Death. They didn't want him that bad. They want to make a political statement. They want her probably to expire in Russia. The White House said it has not received a production response, a productive response from Russia to the offer. And uh, Russian diplomats have refused to comment on the U.S. proposal and urged Washington to discuss the matter in confidential talk, avoiding public statements. In September, the U.S. President Joe Biden met with Sherelle Griner, the wife of Brittany Griner, as well as players agent Lindsey Collins. Biden also sat down separately with Elizabeth Wheeler, which is Paul Wheeler's sister. White House said that after the meeting with the president, stressed to the families his continued commitment to working through all available channels and avenues to bring Brittany and Paul home safely. Mm. The Biden administration carried out a prisoner swap in April with Moscow, releasing Marine veteran Trevor Reed in exchange for the U.S. releasing the Russian pilot Konstantin Yaroshenko convicted of drug trafficking and conspiracy. So now you gonna tell me some of y'all that think that Britney is not part of a political she'd be in a political pond? And when they do this stuff every day 
Uh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad for her. I'm so sad for her. And um, her Sherelle is right. She says, I do believe a crime should warrant a punishment, but it must be balanced. BG has truly suffered beyond for her crime already. She's been in jail. Added to Sherelle's grief is the prospect of the labor camp. Upon hearing that, once that hearing is held and the order is finalized, BG is now in a position where she could be moved to the labor camp. And my brain can't fathom it. And that's where you at right now with it. So sad. Anyway, you guys, Brittany lost her appeal. She said, the wife, the wife said the situation is obviously complicated by Russian invasion of Ukraine, which has left Britney feeling like a political pawn. She's like saying to make things to me like my life don't even matter no more. You know, I feel like my life just doesn't matter. Like I'm just being tossed around like for the people's enjoyment and their pain and gain. I'm sorry. Those are all valid emotions to feel, and I don't have answers for it, except that um, your life matters to me, and I want to get you back home. I'm going to continue and pray for you every day. You know that. The people that are the decision makers in the situation will have mercy and will sit down, and they will see, too, that your life matters and do whatever they can to agree on terms. What else are you going to tell somebody that's talking to you like that? I mean, what else can you say to them to keep them in the right frame of mind? She's only spoken with Sherelle twice. The latter of the two calls left her partner disturbed and crying for days. That exchange was in stark contract to a previous call where Sherelle said, Brittany was more upbeat. I mean, this is this is just a sad story, and I hope to God, Brittany, they get you home. I hope to God, because um, going to one of those labor camps where it's cold, Brittany is already tall, y'all. Never mind. Y'all know all the stuff I'm saying. For those of y'all who care. Anyway, this is an American citizen. We ain't do nothing but play balls. Not a criminal. She didn't smuggle drugs. She took a vape cartridge, a couple of vape cartridges for her own self safe. And now she will be in jail for 10 years. I can't. I want to know what y'all think about it. Please leave your opinion. And I know a lot of y'all think of uh, good riddance. And I want to hear those too. But at the end of the day, have some compassion. It'll go a long way. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, if you like what you hear, though, subscribe and share the video.